Hey, it's Justin here and welcome to my first vlog. So, uh, I was surprised that there were a number of you that were interested in seeing what my day was like. And so yesterday I thought about, you know, planning out my day and scheduling everything. And I woke up this morning and the plan didn't, hadn't gone quite, you know, to plan already. And so I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll just do it tomorrow or another day. But actually, I think this is a better video. It's a bit more genuine. I want to show what you can do on an off day. You'll see me on my more efficient days, but I think it's more important that I show um, that it's not it's okay to not be maximally efficient all the time every single day. So this is my, I would say, average day. This would be 50% of my days are more like what you're going to see today. They're not supercharged, they're not at their maximal efficiency, but most of the time I'll do what I can with what I have um, and, and still be productive in some kind of way. Uh, so I woke up at 9 a.m. Um, I'm, I usually wake up pretty late and um, I experiment with my sleep and I experiment with when I work best in the morning or whether I'm more um, late at night and, and I take these experiments uh, for usually a couple months at a time. So at the moment I've been kind of much more nocturnal. I've been going to sleep closer to around 3 a.m. and waking up closer to around 9 or 10 a.m. Uh, actually closer to, closer to 10 a.m. In fact, the only reason I really got up at 9 a.m. today was because of daylight savings. So um, I spent the first um, 30 minutes just lying in bed. I uh, didn't really do too much, wasn't feeling a lot of pressure, so I kind of chilled out, answered a couple emails um, that I had off the top of my head, um, sent a few messages to my team just to get the ball rolling on a few things that I've been thinking about in bed. and. Um, took it pretty slowly and uh, got up, washed up and everything. And so and I've basically just been bumming around for most of the morning. Um, didn't really get anything done, but now I'm feeling like, okay, I should probably get to do some work. It's around 11.30 now. Um, so I've, I've really done nothing for the last you know two or three hours. Um, nothing super meaningful at least. So let's get cracking and start the day. The first thing that I'm going to do is uh, get myself in the right headspace uh, and focus in. I can feel like I feel like my my motivation isn't really there, and uh, you know you'll know that I, I preach that you shouldn't be making plans based on motivation. And so I'm gonna start by just priming myself in the right headspace, uh, do a little bit of meditation, get my get my focus um, wide in, and I'm gonna follow that up with some uh, prioritization. So let's see what we can do and make out of this day. So uh, in terms of the meditation, uh, if I'm feeling into it, I might use a guided meditation app like Calm. Don't really feel like I, I need that guidance today at least, so I'm just gonna do it solo. And like in my evening routine, if you haven't watched that video, make sure to check it out as well. Uh, I'll have uh, uh, my phone with me and in the early stages while I'm getting into it, as ideas pop into my head, I might just take note of those and then turn them into tasks so I can prioritize them. Um, after this as well. So I'll have my phone with me and I won't worry about getting distracted with thoughts. I'll put them down and then I'll reprioritize them later and at a certain point I don't really have so many of those ideas coming in anymore and I can just really focus in and settle into my routine. All right, so that was just a few minutes, I think, a yeah, it was like um, three or four minutes of mindfulness, um, just enough to kind of get me focused in. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because get, um, getting into that mindfulness space is um, something that a lot of people like to say, training the focus muscle. So it's about when the stray thoughts do come and it's about being able to kind of recenter yourself. And that's one of the principles about being um, effective and, and focused is that it's not about removing the ability for you to be distracted if, at all. In fact, research suggests that it's not really the case it's not really that possible to just remove the ability to be distracted completely but it's about how hard is it for you to or how easy it is rather for you to regain that focus and then center yourself back in and um, re, re 
you know, purpose yourself. I use this app for my task management. Check it out yourself. It's called Amazing Marvin. It's quite an advanced uh, task management software. If you are interested in my full app stack, then um, let me know. I've got a range of different productivity apps for a range of different functions that I've curated over the years, um, which I'm happy to go into as well. One other app I should probably mention on that note and what I'm doing is tracking my time. So you can see that I'm tracking the amount of hours that I spend, I've only got two projects that I'm working on, which is personal and work. And uh, I just track the um, hours that I'm spending doing things that I think are productive and that is getting towards me, towards my long-term goal or long-term vision uh, rather. So uh, this just keeps me accountable for how many hours of productive work I get done on a daily or weekly basis. And it's one proxy measure of keeping me in check. If you follow me on Instagram and Facebook, you'll know that I, um, like to use proxy measures like this in the context of everything else and all the other information available the hours by themselves don't give that much information it's not super meaningful but with various other metrics um, and different types of reflection it can be a valuable way of tracking um, progress and productivity as well so um, now that i've got that the next step is prioritization and the way that i like to prioritize is based off a system that i've kind of created myself it's a hybrid of multiple different types of time management and productivity and attention management and prioritization systems and I'll, I'll go over the method of how I prioritize in a, another video first off just time to prioritize my day so I can start getting into things all right so I finished prioritizing for my day that took me something along the lines of seven minutes to do which is a pretty good time yield based on how much it's going to increase my efficiency so on my app you can see that i've got things in an eisenhower matrix we've got focus tasks important tasks maybes and urgents that's kind of how i manage all of my tasks on a daily basis and that's uh, you know, you, I'll, I'll do this. This is kind of a daily thing for me, if not twice daily, to constantly sort of. And now here's the thing is that it's uh, 11.45 at the moment. I'm going to be having lunch in about 45 minutes. So that gives me a decision. What can I do on this task list that is reasonably urgent enough, um, reasonably important for me to do that I can crank out in 45 minutes? And I found one that involves me doing a bit of studying and learning about um, a couple of things that I need to learn about. So I'm going to do that in the next um, 20 or 30 minutes and then reprioritize my next task. And that means I'll get one of my critical tasks out of the way. It's not the most important task for today, but it is something that um, is something that I've kind of, I'm kind of putting off doing because I'm not super interested in the subject. It's, uh, you know, I guess this is where eat the frog comes in. So I'm going to get to doing that, drink this coffee while it's still at least lukewarm. Once I've finished studying that, I'll catch up with you again. Let's skip that bit because I don't really feel like it's going to be super interesting watching me study. I'm not really heavy into writing a lot of notes these days. Anyway, most of that learning is going to happen in my head. Um, so if you want to be able to learn like that without needing to write too many notes just by pretty much reading, then make sure to follow uh, all the other videos on how to study because it will eventually get you to that point. It's kind of a more advanced technique, but I'm pretty confident that most people uh, can learn to do this to, to a pretty reasonable extent. And you'll, you'll be surprised at what you can do. Okay, so that didn't actually take as long as I thought it was going to take. Um, and there's another part of my day that actually I totally forgot about, but um, it happens situationally, which is actually answering my social media and making the videos and Instagram stories and stuff like that whenever I get a chance when there's um, anything that I want to say or people ask me questions and replying to those, which um, I spend probably about an hour a day um, answering those things and, and uh, making up posts and things like that. Um, so... And that includes uh, just having conversations on Twitter and stuff. And that's a really weird thing for me to kind of consider work. Um, but actually, from my point of view, it's important for me to, to be present in the brand and actually have that market presence. So um, it's something that I make sure that I get done um, every single day. So that's the next step. I've got still another 25 minutes before lunch. So I might as well smash out some of these questions and start producing a little bit more content for the day. Oh, 
well, not a bad day so far. I uh, just had lunch and I'm ready to get back into work. I've finished off a couple of the miscellaneous tasks that I needed to do, so feeling pretty productive. And now I'll get on to creating a bunch more videos for YouTube and stuff, doing a big content creation session. And then once I've done that, I've got uh, a podcast that I've been invited to speak on. So gonna jump in for that and probably get on to just doing a lot more content and video creation. And maybe if I get around to it, I will also start mapping out and designing some more of the courses for the new um, academic coaching brand that we are launching. That's the plan at least. And let's just see how far we get through it. I've only got another probably five hours or so of you know really productive time left um, for the day anyway. Uh, see how, we, how much we can get through in the next uh, five or so hours of um, productivity. Hey, it's Justin and today we're gonna to be talking about how I manage my entire life. It's a pretty big topic, uh, but I wanna break it down into time, attention, tasks, It's almost two o'clock now. It's been about an hour since I updated you last time. I was meaning to make two or three new YouTube videos in this hour, but you know what? I only ended up making and recording one, which I'm gonna need edit later. But you know what? I got something done and I'm all about the idea of minimum viable goals, which uh, again is a separate video as well. One of the most important productivity hacks and mindsets that you can have uh, so I'm pretty happy. I'm happy with the progress so far. I've got a podcast that I need to be on and I need to read a little introduction thing before I jump on about five minutes. And so that'll wrap up my kind of early afternoon and I'll probably have another two or three hours uh, that I can be, really be sitting down and get some focus work done. My plan is to crank out at least two more videos by that time before I need to get going, maybe even edit one of them. And then hopefully that makes for an overall pretty, I feel productive day despite the situation. And I'm gonna make sure to take breaks as well between that. So I'll see you after the podcast is done and I will update you about my how I spend my breaks as well. All right, well, just finished the podcast about half an hour ago, and in that time, I've just recorded an ad that I wanna run on Facebook just to get some more um, traction on my page. Uh, so you might see that floating around. It's getting super hot in my room, which is, one thing about this room is that it's uh, it's got this window right here, and this is also where the sun comes in from, obviously, because that's where sun comes in from, windows. and it's like the most useless window. There's never any wind coming into it. It's just the O. And so I just am left inside this slowly baking sauna of a room. And in order for me to do any recording and not get any sound coming in, I need to close the door, which just traps the heat in. So I'm borderline sweating, just sitting in my room, talking to a camera. I'm gonna get on to doing a bit more video editing uh, for this ad that I've got, because I'm, I'm pretty keen to run that and maybe record another YouTube video, but honestly, it's so freaking hot. I don't think I can stay in this room and actually think anymore. So I might change that plan and do something else instead. But first things first, just need to get these videos edited, get a little bit of stuff down. So I ran into some technical issues, as is the case that always happens, always some tech issues that occur. And so didn't really get as much done as I would have wanted. It's just past five now. So looking forward to having dinner, looking forward to going out, going for a walk. Just gonna plan what I'm gonna be doing on my walk to use that time as optimally as possible. Um, today's been a five out of 10 productive day. Got some stuff done, not as much as I would have hoped because of technical limitations, but you know what? Working with what I can and that's 50% um, of the skill is in planning effectively. 50% of the skill is in executing and overcoming the changes and adaptations and uh, and taking the opportunity to craft a new day when the old day that was planned isn't viable anymore. And so um, given what happened, I feel like my attention was pretty focused at each time. And so for me, that's a win. Okay, dark as hell. It's only about 
7.30 at the moment, but I'm gonna go for that walk uh, in the park. As I said before, even though it's pretty dark, I was looking forward to getting out anyway. So uh, I've got my earbuds here, which I can plug in and listen to something, do some learning. I like to usually listen to a podcast or listen to an audible or something so that I can actually just I can just learn and I can think about it, I can pause it and I can try to apply it to my life and that's usually what I do on these walks. I've got some course ideas that I'm trying to think about how I'm going to start in terms of the brand and there's also some reflection in terms of how my video editing process was today because I felt there were some inefficiencies there that I might just try to tease out and think about on this walk. So I'll probably be out for about an hour or so, maybe a bit longer and that'll give me lots of time to reflect on my day, theorize some improvements and overall just um, you know, do some learning and spend some time in that high level abstract space which is necessary for rapid improvement. Overall I'd say today was not the most productive day but I got some I got some good stuff down and um, you know I'll take the win. Well I'm about 20 minutes into my walk and I've just been bitten like 20 times because apparently Walking around at night is conducive to that. So that's going to be it. I'm going to head home. I'm going to head home, apply a bunch of Tiger Balm to the unlimited number of bites I've got on my body. Take a shower, relax, reflect on the day. Maybe do my four-step wind-down routine, uh, which there's a video on as well. And call it a day. Okay, productive. Not the best, not the worst. Like I said, it's an average day. And when I've got decent enough average days, they make up for the occasional shitty days and that makes up for the occasional slightly more frequent really good days and over time my average creeps up and it works for me gets stuff done anyway thank you for watching my day i hope it was minimally interesting at least uh, if you've got any questions about anything i mentioned and you want me to dive into it more deeply please leave me a comment let me know i'd love to explore any of the things that i talked about if you want me to do another one of these vlogs let me know if there's any suggestions you have i'm planning on doing one that's of like a really productive day um, that's jam-packed so hopefully i'll get around to doing that but otherwise make sure to like subscribe stay efficient and i'll see you next time Thank you.